Hi guys, in this video, let us talk about how to get ECFMG certified. And this information is specifically for an international medical graduate known as IMG. So an international medical graduate is defined by the Educational Commission of Foreign Medical Graduates known as ECFMG as a physician who received his or her basic medical degree or qualification from a medical school located outside the United States and Canada. So the student citizenship is irrelevant and the location of the med school attended is what determines if a student is considered an IMG. Therefore, US citizens who graduated from med schools outside the United States and Canada are also considered as international medical graduates. Similarly, non-US citizens who graduated from med schools in the United States and Canada are not IMGs. So now let us talk some basic points regarding ECFMG certification. So ECFMG certification assesses the qualifications of international medical graduates entering in United States healthcare system. Therefore, IMGs are required to enter residency or fellowship program that are accredited by the Accreditation Council for Foreign Medical Education known as ACGMA. Take step 3 of 3-step United States Medical Licensing Examination known as USMLE and obtain an unrestricted license to practice medicine in the United States and J-1 visa sponsorships. So all these are the important points for you to consider. And at present, as of today, the current application fee is 160 US dollars. And you can check the same in the website, which is shown on the screen. So the standard ECFMG certificate includes the name of the applicant, the certificate number, the date that the examination requirements were met, and the date that the certificate was issued. So what are the requirements for the ECFMG certification? First important thing is ECFMG certification application completion, passing performance on USMLE step 1 and step 2 CK and also you need primary source verification of medical education credentials which includes completion of at least 4 academic years of a medical school curriculum. Medical school graduation year must be listed in the international medical education directory which you can see or check from the site which has been shown here and documented completion of all requirements and receipts of the final medical diploma. Along with this, you need to show primary source verification of medical diploma and transcript by ECFMG. All these are mandatory for IMGs. So ECFMG policy requires the international medical students or graduates pass the USMLE steps and step components required for ECFMG certifications within seven year period. So in other words, we can say that once a student passes a step or step component, the student will have seven years to pass all other steps or step components required for ECFMG certification. If all required steps and step components are not completed with a passing grade within a maximum of seven years, the earliest USMLE passing performance will no longer be valid for ECFMG certification. This is a very important point each and every medical aspirant should know. And ECFMG does not provide notifications of becoming deadlines to meet, nor they will notify a student if passing performances become invalid for ECFMG certification. And the USMLE program limits to six as the total number of times an examinee can take the same step or a step component. So there are certain limits in the process. So now what is the certification process? So the certification process begins with a request for USMLE or ECFMG identification number through ECFMG's interactive web application. So once ECFMG assigns a number, it must be included in all communications thereafter, applications, medical education credentials, request forms, and payments sent to ECFMG. So it is also required to use ECFMG's online services. As a part of ECFMG certification application, the student will be asked to confirm the name, 
date of birth and gender in the ECFMJ record. So instructions for how to correct this information will be provided at the time of application should adjustments need to be made. So medical school students will be asked to confirm official enrollments in the medical school located outside the United States and Canada and the school must be listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools in order to meet eligibility requirements for the certification. The information submitted in the ECFMG certification application will become a part of the student's permanent ECFMG record. Once submitted to ECFMG, the application typically becomes valid immediately allowing the student or graduate to apply for the examination and it remains valid throughout the certification process and cannot be changed. So therefore a notification will be sent to an email address on ECFMJ record confirming the receipt of the application. So if the application for ECFMJ certification was submitted by a student, there is no need to submit another one when graduate status is attained. So what is the certification verification service? So ECFMG certification verification service known as CVS provides primary source confirmation of an international medical graduate's ECFMG certification status to residency programs, state medical boards and other organizations such as hospitals and HMOs. So CVS online handles web-based requests for confirmation of ECFMG certification status and confirmation are sent via postal mail and a student or a graduate can establish an account their program by sending an email what it is shown on the screen. So by this you can successfully become an ECFMG certified physician and I hope this information is going to help you a lot to get ECFMG certification.